How's it going everyone? I'm Leslie the LMT and I'm excited to bring a dancing fascial unwinding practice to you today. You will want water on hand, space to move around, and while this is not a workout video per se, it is active so please 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 modify any of the movements to fit your level and pause the video at any point to take as many breaks as you need. To unwind the fascia all you really need to do is move in novel ways and shake and bounce the body but I find that giving the hands and feet something to do is a nice stand-in to give the ego and the rational mind something to focus on and get us out of self-conscious thoughts. I want to stress that this is a fascial unwinding practice. It's not a dance class. So we can just let go of thoughts like, I'm not a dancer. Am I doing these moves right? Do I look silly? And just have fun. If at the end of 20-ish minutes, you just bounced around having no idea what you just did, that's pretty much perfect. So let's embrace the silliness, shake ourselves out of those habituated patterns, and let ourselves have a whole body fascial tune-up. Thank you so much and enjoy this offering. Start off patting up the legs with a firm pressure. Linger at the hips, then come around down the front of the leg and back up. Now work the sides of the legs. On the abdomen, focus along the curve inside of the pelvic bones. Now work around to the back, covering whatever area you can reach. Work along the chest, upper shoulder, down the arm. Now up the opposite arm, upper shoulder, bring it through the chest. Shake out the hands. And now begin back and forth, just letting the arms swing freely. And you can start this motion from your hips, letting the whole torso be involved. If it feels comfortable, you can let this motion travel through the hip down to pivot on the toe, taking it gently that much further. Take some rolls through the shoulder, maybe roll your neck gently from side to side for a moment. Arms up overhead and stretch it out a little side to side. That's it for our warm up. Let's get ready to dance. First, let's learn a move that we'll use later called the kick ball change. Kick one foot out, switch legs to a high knee, then step feet together. I'll demonstrate. It's kick, ball, change. Kick the foot out, ball with the knee, and change step together. Keep practicing kick, ball, change. We're going to do it again, but this time we're up to tempo. Ready and kick, ball, change, step, kick, ball, change, keep going, kick, ball, change. Moving on to a basic shimmy with the hips, starting with feet apart, Sliding gently side to side. Sticking the booty out the back, double your pace. I like to use the arms to help me. 
me wag that tail. The next level is a full shimmy if you're comfortable with this motion. Try to keep the legs as still as you can and isolate this movement in the hips. Release it. Building again from that half tempo, quickening the pace, and then a full shimmy if you feel comfortable. one more time up to the level of shimmy that's best for you. Release. Now pop the hip by leaning the weight to one foot and point the opposite knee inwards by pivoting on the toe. If you're comfortable, flick the heel so the hip really pops. Just make sure that all of your weight is on the opposite foot when the heel is lifted. to get into it with some attitude. Care less about the actual moves and more about getting bounce and shake into your connective tissues. Glide your hips from side to side, arching your back as you get to one side, rounding it in the middle and arching it again as you get to the other side. Continue to alternate. Add in some freeform arm movements to increase your stretch and sensation. These gliding movements are fantastic for lubricating the fascia. Release the upper body and let's focus on the lower leg. Shift your weight into one foot and with the other foot lift up onto the toe and it's like you're tracing a semicircle with that knee. Then you switch sides. If this doesn't work for your knee, you can always lift your foot off the ground in an arc like I'm showing. When you're ready, pick up the pace. Keep tension out of it and see if you can feel this motion all the way up into the hips. Only if you feel comfortable, let's travel. So emphasize this motion in the direction of your left knee. Just take little steps and see if you can make this motion flow almost like a figure eight. Start to emphasize the right knee to prepare to travel the opposite way. on dancing and gliding. Let's release the upper body, starting with shoulder rolls. Moving back up and over three. 
to start this alternating motion one arm forward one arm back like you're shooing away the past of the future and just are here dancing. Now same thing but left and right like Forget the extremes, I'm in touch with my core. Just let the arms swing. Gently sway side to side and just shrug it off. This is fantastic for the upper shoulders. Let go of any tension and really just let those shoulders drop at the bottom of the move. Finish by exploring whatever stretches in the upper body sound good right now. We're going to learn a short sequence starting here with a simple march, then try it out at a faster pace in the next section. With quick feet, tickle the sky, then tickle the earth. Tap tap, tickle tickle. March for A. Sky and earth for two. Now hop and shake it. March for eight. Sky and earth for two. Hop and shake it twice. Reach for the stars, step and bring them down to earth. March for eight. Sky and earth for two. Hop and shake it twice. Bring down the stars two times. March for eight. Sky and earth for two. Hop and shake it twice. Bring down the stars two times. Kick ball change. Palm, palm. March for eight. Sky and earth for two. Hop and shake it twice. Reach for the stars, step and bring them down to earth. Kickball change for two. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Pop that hip, switch sides. March for eight. Sky and earth for two. Hop and shake it twice. Reach for the stars, step and bring them down to earth. Kickball change for two. Boogie with a hip pop. Finish up arms overhead with little semicircles. If you were totally lost and flailed around for three straight minutes, that's 
perfect. It's an incredible thing for our brains, memory, and patterning. As you repeat this video, it will get easier. If you're up for it now, let's try it all together at a faster pace. But first, pause this video and get some water. March Sky and Earth Jump and Shake It Bring the Stars to Earth Kickball Change Boogie with a hip pop. Little semicircles. March. Sky and Earth. Jump and shake it. stars to earth, kickball change, boogie with a hip hop, little semicircles. Last time through, march. Sky and Earth Jump and Shake It Bring the Stars to Earth Kickball Change semicircles. Please don't beat up on yourself if you were totally lost. You can see even I get lost after countless takes of this short sequence. And I forgot the hip hop the last time around. The important thing is we're challenging ourselves, we're moving in new ways, and we're shaking things up. I hope you'll join me again for this video soon. Welcome to this well-deserved cooldown. Just take an easy side-to-side -side step. Roll through the shoulders. Arms overhead, stretch it to one side. Other side. Clasp your hands behind your back and stretch out your chest. If you can, go ahead and reach forward, but as always with this practice, never push beyond your limits. If you're forward, slowly come up. Side lunge stretch, keeping your knee directly over your ankle. Come through the middle and have your hands on your thighs if you can't reach your toes or the floor. Mm -hmm. 
second leg side lunge, watch your knee. Take a basic lunge to one side, keep your knee over your ankle, reach your arms up, and even stretch away from that hip. Slowly switch sides, knee over ankle, arms up, and stretch away from that front hip. Come to the center and heel toe your feet in slightly. Basic cross the body stretch with the arm and other side. Stretch straight overhead with the arms and you can have a gentle arch in the upper back. Stretch the neck to one side, barely any pressure with that hand. Roll to the other side. If it's okay in your body, slowly and gently roll the neck all the way around. Switching directions. Let's get a deep side stretch, stepping one foot behind the other, arms overhead, and stretch all throughout that side. Slowly step the other foot behind and switch sides. Well done, you've reached the end.